I have dreams of playing in the NBA. Obviously, if you make the NBA, you're going to be known, so that's why I play. DeVoe Joseph, born June 21st, 1989. In the late 2000s, Canadian basketball was on the rise with a new wave of talented players ready to make their mark on the international stage. Among them was DeVoe Joseph, a skilled guard with a natural scoring touch and high basketball IQ. Born and raised in Canada, DeVoe was known for his smooth shooting and fearless play on the court. Alongside his younger brother Corey, who would eventually make the NBA, DeVoe had the potential to become one of Canada's next big basketball stars. As a top prospect, he earned a scholarship to play at the University of Minnesota, a major achievement for any Canadian athlete aiming to break into the American basketball scene. In his early college years, he showed glimpses of brilliance, proving himself as a reliable scorer with a strong work ethic. His talent was undeniable, and he seemed to have a clear path to the NBA. However, despite his promise, DeVoe's journey didn't go as planned. Midway through his college career, he found himself at a crossroads, dissatisfied with his role on the team and playing time at Minnesota, so he made the difficult decision to transfer to the University of Oregon. While the move gave him a fresh start, it also required him to sit out a season due to NCAA transfer rules, costing him valuable time to develop and prove himself to NBA scouts. Although he performed well at Oregon, the delay and disruption impacted his momentum and visibility, creating hurdles that many prospects can't overcome. After college, DeVoe entered the 2012 NBA Draft, hoping to fulfill his NBA dream, yet despite his impressive scoring record, he went undrafted, marking a turning point in his career. Without an NBA contract, he turned to the European leagues to keep his basketball dreams alive, and over the next decade, he played in several countries, showcasing his skills and leading his teams in scoring, but his NBA dreams grew increasingly distant. DeVoe Joseph's story is one of talent, sacrifice, and the relentless pursuit of a dream even when the path takes unexpected turns. From a promising Canadian star to a journeyman overseas, DeVoe's journey reflects the challenges and hard realities many players face when the NBA dream doesn't go as planned. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth. Let's get it. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. DeVoe Joseph is a 6'3 shooting guard from Toronto, Canada that grew up a promising basketball talent. Known for his smooth shooting, scoring, and high basketball IQ, DeVoe was named the High School Player of the Year in Canada three times and attracted early attention, earning a scholarship to the University of Minnesota. There, he showed flashes of potential, but limited playing time and an unsatisfying role led him to transfer to the University of Oregon. The move offered him a fresh start, but also required him to sit out a year due to the transfer rules which interrupted his development and visibility to NBA scouts. At Oregon, he excelled in his senior year, shooting a career-high 41% from three, averaging 16.7 points per game, but ultimately, he went undrafted in the 2012 NBA Draft. Determined to pursue his basketball dreams, he took his talents overseas where he played in leagues across Spain, Greece, and Turkey, forging a solid career despite missing out on the NBA for these reasons. Stun number one, lost momentum. DeVoe Joseph's journey from Canadian high school star to NCAA Division I player was filled with promise, but it also included a pivotal transfer that disrupted his momentum. He started his college basketball career at the University of Minnesota, joining the Golden Gophers with high hopes and quickly becoming known for his scoring ability and smooth play style. Despite potential flashes, Joseph struggled to secure a prominent role on the team, limited playing time, a lack of consistent opportunities, and some internal team issues, where he was suspended indefinitely by coach Tubby Smith, left him feeling unfulfilled and frustrated. DeVoe's need for a fresh start grew, especially if he was to attract NBA attention by showcasing his skills in a leading role. Midway through his college career, he made the difficult decision to transfer to the University of Oregon. 
Though this transfer provided a better opportunity for him to stand out, it came with a significant cost, as under NCAA rules, transferring players, as mentioned, typically must sit out a year before playing for their new team. For DeVoe, this meant a full season on the sidelines, unable to compete or continue building momentum on the court. While this year off allowed him to train and reset mentally, it also interrupted his progress and limited his visibility to NBA scouts and analysts who prioritized players who could consistently perform at a high level. When he finally joined the Oregon Ducks, DeVoe quickly made an impact, showing his true potential as a scoring guard. In his senior season, he averaged an impressive 16.7 points per game and once again shooting the three at a high level proving himself as one of the team's key contributors and a dangerous offensive threat. However, despite this strong showing, the transfer and year-long hiatus had taken a toll. NBA scouts often look for players with both strong college stats and uninterrupted playing histories, and DeVoe's transfer year may have contributed to doubts about his adaptability and potential. Ultimately, despite his stellar final season at Oregon, he went undrafted. His college transfer, while necessary for a fresh start, had unintended consequences like the loss of momentum during his sit-out year and the absence of a clear, uninterrupted development path. It most likely impacted his NBA prospects. DeVoe Joseph's story underscores how a single decision, despite its benefits, can alter the potential of an athlete's career, emphasizing the fine line between opportunity and setback in the competitive world of professional sports. Stunt number two, undrafted and out of sight. After a strong senior season at the University of Oregon, DeVoe Joseph entered the 2012 NBA draft hoping his talents and scoring ability would earn him a spot in the league. However, no team saw a path to get him there, a major setback that shifted his career. For many players, going undrafted is a significant hurdle to reaching the NBA as it often means starting without the support, resources, or development opportunities available to drafted players. Instead, DeVoe had to navigate an alternative route to keep his basketball dreams alive, ultimately taking his talents overseas. Playing abroad, he joined various European leagues competing in countries like Spain, Greece, and France. Though he continued to showcase his scoring ability and found success, life overseas came with challenges. European basketball, while competitive, generally lacks the high visibility of the NBA, so for NBA scouts, it's harder to evaluate and track players in these leagues unless they dominate at a EuroLeague level, which is considered Europe's top-tier competition. Although Joseph performed well, the lower visibility and inconsistent exposure likely made it difficult for him to capture NBA teams' attention. Another challenge with overseas play is the difference in play style, where European leagues focus heavily on team-oriented systems rather than individual scoring. Joseph's scoring guard skills didn't always fit seamlessly, which may have impacted scouts feeling his issues adapting while still being productive may hurt an NBA team. Over time, the reality of being out of sight, out of mind affected Joseph's NBA prospects and potential NBA fit. Without a chance to break into the G League or join NBA Summer Leagues regularly, he struggled to return to the NBA radar. Despite carving out a respectable career overseas, his path to the NBA became increasingly distant, highlighting the tough reality for undrafted players who look to prove themselves on an international stage. Stun number three, faded NBA dreams. DeVoe Joseph's NBA dreams didn't fail all at once, they gradually slipped further away as he navigated the realities of professional basketball overseas. While he showcased his scoring abilities abroad, the years outside the NBA spotlight took a toll on his prospects. For players who go undrafted, time is especially crucial. Every season overseas makes it harder to stay on the NBA radar, and for DeVoe, each passing year meant fewer chances to get back in front of NBA scouts. European leagues focuses heavily on team-oriented play and structured systems which don't always highlight a scoring guard's individual talents. 
Despite his efforts, he struggled to build the standout reputation required for a return to the NBA conversation. I also believe he dealt with the challenges of being a bit one-dimensional, often looking to score more than showcasing his point guard skills, a position he would have to play heavily in the league at just 6'3". As he aged, the NBA's demand for younger, more athletic guards only increased, making the competition tougher than ever. Eventually, his NBA dream grew distant, eclipsed by the steady but lower profile career he carved out internationally. DeVoe's journey shows how quickly NBA hopes can fade when players are out of sight and overseas. All in all, DeVoe Joseph's story is one of talent and perseverance that didn't get its due on the biggest stage due to a combination of a lost season in college, going undrafted, and moving to Europe that meant he missed the right windows to join the NBA. Still, he continued to play the game he loved, representing Canadian basketball and making a living doing what he's passionate about. He may not have made the NBA, but he's still a name that resonates with Canadian fans who are very familiar with what could have been. Salute, much respect, but for these reasons, his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC Stunned Growth, and I'm out.